Now, I invite Chief Executive John Lee to lead the principal officials of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region to the stage and take their oath. I invite His Excellency Xi Jinping, President of the People's Republic of China, to administer the oath. I swear that in the office of Chief Secretary for Administration of the Government of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China, I will uphold the basic law of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. Bear allegiance to the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region of the People's Republic of China. And serve the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region conscientiously, dutifully, in full accordance with the law, honestly, and with integrity. Person making the oath, Chen Kuo Ki. You're watching live uh, footage uh, from uh, Hong Kong. This is the inaugural ceremony of the sixth uh, chief executive of uh, Hong Kong and also officials of the sixth term Hong Kong regional government. Zhong Li has been sworn in as uh, Hong Kong's sixth uh, chief executive. And also 26 officials are sworn in as members of the sixth regional government. Chinese President Xi Jinping has been administering the sworn in ceremony. And in 2021, China's top legislature, the National People's Congress, or MPC, adopted a decision on improving the electoral system of the Hong Kong Special Administrative Region. The MPC session declared that the electoral system should conform to the principle of one country, two systems, meet the realities of the region and ensure that the region is administered by people who love China and love Hong Kong. On this new electoral system, Hong Kong has established an election committee which is broadly representative of the society's interest and is suited to the region's realities. The election committee shall be responsible for electing the chief executive and certain members of the legislative council. The election committee is composed of 1,500 members from five sectors, namely industry, commerce and finance, professionals, grassroots, labour, religious and other sectors. And now you're watching live footage from Hong Kong. This is the yeah. inaugural ceremony of the sixth chief executive of Hong Kong Special Administrative Region and officials of the sixth Right, and let's, let's uh, get to know Hong Kong, Zhong Li SAR. and uh, other officials in the new SAR government. Zhong Li was elected as the sixth term chief executive designate of Hong Kong SAR in May. And during his over 30 year 
career in the Hong Kong Police Force, Lee held various posts, including Chief Superintendent, Assistant Commissioner, Senior Assistant Commissioner, and Deputy Commissioner of Police. And in September 2012, Lee was appointed as Under Secretary for Security of the Hong Kong SAR government, including his career in the Hong Kong Police Force. And he was appointed by the State Council as Secretary for Security of the Hong Kong SAR government in July in 2017 and Chief Secretary for Administration in June 2021. Well, in dealing with major events in recent years, including the implementation of the national security law in Hong Kong, of course, the fight against COVID-19 and the changes to the region's electoral system, uh, Lee Jong Lee has taken a firm stand and fulfilled his responsibilities. And 26 other officials also, uh, has also been uh, sworn in, and they were earlier nominated by Jong Lee. And their sworn in ceremony was also administered by Chinese President uh, Xi Jinping, and this is happening right, right now. Right. Uh, for example, uh, Chan Kok Ki is the Chief Secretary for Administration, and Paul Chan. Is serving as a financial secretary. Uh, Paul Lam Teng Kok is a secretary for justice, and Tang Ping Kwan is the secretary for security. Also, chief secretary for administration is Chang Kok Ki. And in various occasions, the uh, new uh, officials of the new SAR Hong Kong government actually. Uh, Ex expressed their feelings and their comments on the one country, two systems and also the current situation of Hong Kong. For instance, Financial Secretary Paul Chan said that although the external environment facing Hong Kong in the next few years will still remain complex and daunting, he is quite confident that with the firm support of the central government and strong leadership of the incoming chief executive, the new term government will do its best to push forward the socio-economic development of Hong Kong, opening a new chapter of stability and prosperity with the spirit of innovation, perseverance and unparalleled fighting spirit. Quite clear. Uh, remark indeed and earlier secretary for justice paul lam said that the rule of law is essential for hong kong to enhance its status as an international financial shipping and also trade center and establish the city as a center for international legal and yes for international legal and dispute resolution services right. in the asia pacific now, Hong Kong's GDP reached over 2.8 trillion Hong Kong dollars last year. Thank you, President Thank you, Mr. Lee.